We designed and built the wings of this Model 437 Vanguard using our digital capabilities on an internally funded program called Digital Pathfinder. Stealthy high-tech Model 437 Vanguard jet has flown for the first time. The first known prototype of the Model 437, developed by Northrop Grumman's subsidiary Scale Composites, has successfully taken flight. Initially conceptualized as an advanced loyal wingman air combat drone, this design has been in development since at least 2021. However, the recent emergence of this prototype, equipped with a cockpit, adds an intriguing twist. The aircraft, registered as N437VN, Certified in January according to FAA records, features a sleek design. It boasts a bubble canopy without a bow, a pointed nose, a semi-trapezoidal fuselage, mid-set swept wings, a long dorsal air intake, a distinct chine line encircling the airframe, trailing link landing gear, and a splayed V-tail with camouflage. Additionally, it has a round exhaust, a long air data probe on its nose, and an overall futuristic appearance reminiscent of a movie prop. As highlighted in previous reports, the Model 437's design evolved from Scale Composite's earlier Model 401 demonstrators, which were inspired by the company's Ares demonstrator. The Model 401 is now being considered for an unmanned production variant alongside the Model 437. According to Aviation Week, the Model 437 is expected to have a range of approximately 3,000 nautical miles with a 4,000-pound fuel load and can cruise at around Mach 0.8. The drone also features an internal centerline payload bay capable of carrying up to 1,000 pounds, with potential loadouts including AM, 120 AMROMs, or a side-looking radar imaging sensor. It is unclear if these design goals have changed, but the development of a piloted or pilot-optional prototype offers significant advantages for testing, especially given current U.S. airspace restrictions for fully unmanned aircraft. This optionally crewed configuration could also have operational applications. Scale Composites has confirmed in a press release that the N437VN is a crewed variant of the original Model 437 concept, now officially named Vanguard. The Model 437 Vanguard is powered by a Pratt and Whitney 535 engine, producing approximately 3,400 pounds of thrust. The aircraft has a wingspan and length of 41 feet and a gross takeoff weight of 10,000 pounds. After completing envelope expansion, it will have a range of around 3,000 nautical miles and a six-hour endurance, with the capacity to carry up to 2,000 pounds of payload, including 2 a.m., 120 missiles in an internal weapons bay. Development of the Vanguard began within a fully connected digital ecosystem, with Northrop Grumman customers and suppliers collaborating to design, analyze, build, and test the wings before the aircraft's first flight on August 29th. The Digital Pathfinder project demonstrated how this digital engineering ecosystem reduces rework, accelerates schedules, and cuts costs, offering significant advantages for future aircraft programs. By leveraging experience from programs like the B-21 Raider, Northrop Grumman continues to refine its digital ecosystem, which connects various stakeholders through the design, development, and testing phases of current and future programs. This approach has reduced engineering rework and redesign to less than 1%, compared to the traditional 15 to 20%. High-fidelity models and rigorous validation schemes have also reduced the need for extensive ground and flight tests, potentially streamlining the airworthiness determination process and offering further cost and schedule benefits. Through the Digital Pathfinder initiative, Northrop Grumman leveraged a high-integrity digital thread to connect engineers, customers, and stakeholders in a virtual environment. This integration allowed for the proactive identification and resolution of issues that typically hinder acquisition programs, significantly enhancing overall program performance. 
the release stated. The demonstration also showcased advanced manufacturing techniques, including the innovative use of plasma arc energy deposition to produce a titanium structural bracket. This application marks a pioneering achievement in the defense industry, as it's believed to be the first time this additive manufacturing method has been used to form a titanium part. Additionally, the Digital Pathfinder project employed advanced techniques to reduce the need for hard tooling, improve first-time quality, and minimize manufacturing rework. The Digital Pathfinder effort was designed to showcase and refine our digital engineering environment through rapid prototyping. This approach allowed us to quickly learn and enhance our digital engineering ecosystem. Throughout the project, we identified areas for improving the usability of the system, enhancing training for personnel operating within the ecosystem, and most importantly, accelerating the adoption of digital engineering techniques across our team. By ensuring everyone worked within the digital environment, using a single source of truth throughout the system lifecycle, we were able to shift left, addressing many development tasks earlier in the process. This resulted in a significant reduction in engineering rework, bringing it down to less than 1%, compared to the industry average of 15 to 20%. Additionally, manufacturing rework was cut by more than 50%, allowing us to build things correctly the first time. This aligns perfectly with our goal for the digital engineering environment, to dramatically reduce schedule and cost for our customers. Statement from Northrop Grumman.